10, Tanya Harding. When you think of Tanya Harding, you remember her as the jealous skater who hired men to take her competitor out of the competition, right? Rather than, I don't know, being remembered as the first American woman to land a triple axel in competition, which was extremely impressive by the way. In January 1994, Tanya became embroiled in controversy when her ex-husband Jeff Gullowly orchestrated an attack on her fellow US skating rival Nancy Kerrigan. This was to give her a better shot at the national championship because Nancy was talented. Afterwards, it didn't take too long for Tanya to plead guilty as a conspirator to the kneecapping attack to avoid jail time. She paid a $160,000 fine, was forced to withdraw from the 1994 World Figure Stating Championships, and was banned from the USFSA for life. This destroyed her skating career indefinitely. Number 9. Amber Heard. Now, whether you're Team Johnny or Team Amber, we can all agree that Amber's career is over. The couple split in 2016, and last year they battled in court over an op ed Amber wrote for the Washington Post in 2018, in which she describes surviving mistreatment by a partner without mentioning Johnny by name. Now, the facts are that Johnny sued her for $50 million in damages. They went to court, and the jury unanimously found that Amber could not substantiate her allegations against against Johnny and that she knew her claims of mistreatment were false when she published her 2018 essay. The trial induced a media circus with most of the general public siding with Johnny and creating the hashtag I stand with Johnny Depp. Since then she's become one of the most hated people in the world. Number 8. Roseanne Roseanne is an actor who was a star on the show Roseanne, which was a late 80s sitcom that ran for 9 seasons. Her popular sitcom was revived in 2018 on ABC and did great. The series was renewed for an 11th season in March 2018, just 3 days after the season premiere. Unfortunately, the series was then cancelled by ABC in May 2018 following Roseanne's comments on Twitter. She sent tweets attacking then US President Barack Obama senior advisor Valerie Jarrett. Roseanne was fired due to this and ABC created the show The Connors following the family of Roseanne after the character Roseanne passed away. They killed her off and made a hugely successful show that just finished airing their fifth season. Number 7. Ashley Simpson In 2004, Ashley Simpson was the talk of the town. She had an album, it debuted at the top of the Hot 100, an MTV show, The Ashley Simpson Show, and was the musical act on Saturday Night Live that Jew. Well, the SNL performance did did not go as planned. She performed her hit single Pieces of Me, which went well, and she then returned to the stage to perform her next song, where then the vocals from the previous song began playing while her mic was down at her side. It was revealed that she was lip syncing. She then did an awkward jig on stage and later blamed her band during the closing credits. She said, I feel so bad, my band started to play the wrong song, I didn't know what to do, so I thought I'd do a hoedown. I'm sorry, live TV. Now her career never recovered as she was booed at her Orange Bowl performance in 2005 and her next two albums fail. Number 6. Bill Cosby Ever since comedian Hannibal Burras used his stand-up routine in 2014 to call attention to allegations of Bill's misbehavior, many women have come forward claiming Bill drugged and or took advantage of them over the decades. The earliest allegation against Bill dates back to December 1965. Now on July 27, 2015, New York Magazine featured 35 women who told their stories about being taken advantage of by Bill Cosby and the culture that wouldn't listen. The stories span more than five decades and are remarkably similar. By October 24, 2015, nearly 60 women had claimed they were taken advantage of by Bill. On September 25, 2018, he was sentenced to 3 to 10 years in a state prison and a $25,000 fine. Safe to say, his career is over. Number 5. Paula Dean. Paula Dean was known as everyone's favorite southern chef, but in 2012, everything went downhill after she was exposed for being racist. She was sued by a former general manager of one of her restaurants, claiming she regularly used racial slurs like the N-word around workers and wanted to stage a southern-themed wedding with black men playing slaves. In a testimony during the trial, the manager's lawyer asked Paula if she'd ever used the N-word before, and she replied, yes, of course. As for the slave wedding, she admitted to that too 
Sue, claiming she got the idea from another restaurant and found the concept beautiful and really impressive. Now, once her statements were verified in district court, Food Network reacted quickly, refusing to renew her contract despite her multiple video apologies. Her career plummeted, and then in 2015, she tweeted a now deleted picture of her son in brown face, which definitely didn't help matters at all. Number four. Hulk Hogan. Wrestling superstar Hulk Hogan is the face of wrestling. According to Collider, he is the second greatest wrestler of all time, and IGN said that he is the most recognized wrestling star worldwide and the most popular wrestler of the 80s. Now, many wrestlers retire due to the wear and tear of body slams and pile drivers over the years, but Hulk stepped away from the ring unexpectedly in a storm of controversy. Although it came towards the end of his time with the WWE, what really ended his career was a disgusting rant that happened when a sex tape he was in came to light. He was heard saying racial slurs when talking about his daughter's sexual relationship. Previously seen as a champion of the people, his disgusting statements forever damaged the image he'd spent years building, and the WWE released him from his contract. The entire transcript was published by Radar in 2015, and he instantly took to social media. Hulk retweeted remarks by fans that painted him as a victim in the situation, despite his awful actions, including one poster who compared him negatively to President Obama. Number 3. Jamie Lee Spears Today, teen pregnancy has become a huge phenomenon, but it came as an extreme shock in 2007 when the Zoe 101 star announced she was pregnant at 16. When discussing the issue in her book, she wrote, There was a whole lot of fighting going on between everyone involved. The entire Spears team was already caught up in my sister's PR difficulties, and everyone around me just wanted to make this issue disappear. My family and management pulled me out of school until they could figure out what to do next. They took my smartphone away, fearing the news would get out, and insisted that no one share any information with anyone, especially the press. I went along with what my team told me to do because I was a minor and didn't want to create any more issues. Brittany learned of the pregnancy when the article was released. To this day, the hurt of not being able to tell my sister myself lingers. When we did announce that I was pregnant, I did hide away for a bit during that time and I didn't have a phone, but of course the pop Rossi still found me. Since the scandal, she has not worked in the film and TV industry, and it would have been hard for her to get work after this, so she stayed out of the limelight. Number 2. Kanye West In 2022, it seemed like you couldn't go anywhere with hearing about Kanye. He had many scandals, so here's a quick list of them. During Paris Fashion Week on October 3rd, Kanye wore a shirt that said White Lives Matter. On October 11th, in an interview with Fox News anchor Tucker Carlson, the website Vice obtained un air footage from the interview. The footage involved Kanye making a number of anti-Semitic claims. Then an episode of The Shop is pulled due to Kanye spewing more hate speech, with producers deciding against airing their interview and refusing to share any more details of his comments. In October, he also tweeted a lot of anti-Semitic tweets and was banned from the platform. At the end of October, major brands announced they'd no longer be working with the rapper due to his ongoing anti-Semitic comments. The Gap had dropped the rapper back in September, and others include fashion house Balenciaga, talent agency, creative artist agency, banking group JP Morgan, and Adidas. With Kanye being dropped by Adidas, he lost a staggering $1.5 billion, with US money magazine Forbes stating that the rapper is no longer a billionaire, with his net worth dropping to $400 million. With all this troubling behavior, a lot of fans have turned against Kanye, and he's not as popular as he once was. And coming in at number 1 is Janet Jackson. Who could forget the Super Bowl halftime show in 2004? Janet Jackson had an amazing performance, at least until her surprise guest, Justin Timberlake, joined her. He sang the lyric, I'm gonna have you naked by the end of this song, and then he tore open her costume, exposing her right breast to 140 million viewers. The incident was referred to as Nipplegate by the media. The FCC received more than 500,000 complaints about the broadcast. CBS was fined $550,000, and the NFL was asked to refund the $10 million that they had been given to the halftime show sponsor. Janet was the one who received the criticism for this incident and not Justin who was the one who tore her clothes. She was not allowed to attend the Grammy Awards that year, forced to withdraw after being scheduled as a presenter, while Justin did not just attend, but also performed. Then Janet's album was blacklisted by several radio stations and music channels. 
results. Janet issued an apology and said that the incident was accidental, as did Justin. And slowly but surely, Janet has made a comeback, but at one point, it seemed like her career was over for good. Well, that's all for our list of the top 10 most memorable celebrity scandals that ended their careers. Do you think any of these celebs' careers should have ended? Let us know in the comments down below, and we'll see you next time.